Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jersey Zone. Today I do have another unboxing for you guys. As you can see, we got two jerseys right here. Well, two bags, both of them obviously being jerseys. So I'll show you guys both in this video here. I apologize for how many unboxings I've done recently. I feel like eight out of my last 10 videos are unboxings and it's a lot. I apologize for that. I've just been a little bit busy with work. So my other videos that I do want to make, I just haven't really got around to making those. There is one video that I'm pretty excited about that should release on October 31st first that is at least the plan as of right now so hopefully I can get around to that before that date comes up but yeah this should be my last unboxing for a little bit here I at least hope so there are some jerseys on fanatics.com so the American side that I do want they're on sale as of tonight and I think tomorrow night as well well I think it ends technically tonight as I'm uploading this video however the duties and fees on those shipping to Canada is a lot <laughs> like it's quite a bit so I don't know if I'm gonna pull the trigger on it or see if I can maybe ship it to an American friend or something like that. I don't know if I'll get those or not. So as of right now, these are the only jerseys that I have still purchased. So yeah, it's going to be my last unboxing, hopefully at least for a little bit here. But anyways, if you guys are new to the channel and you like hockey jersey content, please make sure to subscribe. Okay, let's show you guys both of these jerseys here. So let's open up the first one here. I don't know which one is going to be which. And let's get this one out. Alrighty. Okay, so the first one is this one. Interesting. This is probably the one that I'm kind of less excited about. I'm not quite too sure. I guess I'm a little bit less excited about it for one particular reason, and we'll talk about it in a second. So here is the jersey. It is the Winnipeg Jets Reverse Retro 1.0 jersey. So this is their first Reverse Retro, and I actually like it quite a bit. I know a lot of people really weren't a huge fan of this jersey when it first released, but honestly, I actually kind of like the gray and the dark blue. I think that looks really, really nice. Obviously, this logo is fantastic for the Winnipeg Jets. I think that looks amazing there. I will admit, though, the logo does look pretty small on this jersey now that being said it is a size 42 so these usually do fit me the size 42s but and they do also usually have smaller logos like the size 42s usually have the smaller logos so it just looks I guess a little bit small because it's more circular than really like you know long in its uh, shape so yeah that's probably why it looks a little bit small on this jersey but I don't think it's that big of a deal I still think it looks fine and obviously the way that the logo is actually made like the detail I don't know if you can see it on camera yeah you can kind of see it a little bit but it's chain stitched in the Jets in like the actual Jet itself and in the Winnipeg there so yeah that looks very very nice I absolutely love that also back of the collar there we can see Winnipeg 1979 so that is pretty cool and as you guys can see there is a player on the back of this jersey so let's show you guys and the player on the back is Mark Shifley so honestly I'm not actually a big Mark Shifley fan uh, I honestly just got this jersey because it was on sale I think it was like $44 or something like that like it was super super cheap on the NHL store and obviously since it is a reverse retro 1.0 it is a climalite or I guess this one is an arrow ready so it is an arrow ready which means it does have the bad numbers like the vinyl crappy one layer and also as well like it doesn't even have an A on the front which Shifley would have had when wearing this jersey so I might strip this thing like honestly I might just take the name and number off because I don't care about this player it doesn't have the proper customization it doesn't look very good and doesn't have the A so like it's almost all wrong it just is not that great but I kind of just wanted the jersey itself and obviously with it being on sale I kind of decided to pick it up so yeah I might strip this thing all things considered because it is pretty easy to strip like these uh, old school Adidas jerseys with the um, vinyl customization and everything like that they're very very easy to strip so I think I might do that with this jersey here because yeah it doesn't really look that great customized and everything like that not that the customization like the actual customization if it was probably done I think that looks fine like I like the blue outline of the white there I think that is good but just obviously the way that it's done is pretty bad to me with these old adidas jerseys they do look a lot worse when it has the vinyl customization as opposed to it just being blank so yeah I'll probably will strip it I usually do like blank jerseys anyways but I don't know maybe I'll get too lazy and then I just won't strip it at all we'll kind of have to see but yeah I'm still kind of happy getting this jersey though like I said you know I do like you know the gray being the main color of the jersey I think that actually looks pretty good and obviously I do very much like this logo quite a bit so yeah there is one and if you guys know of the sale where I got that jersey you could probably guess what's in this bag here as well okay and the second one is another Winnipeg Jets jersey this time it is their third jersey 
this one i gotta say in person looks absolutely gorgeous like this one looks phenomenal in person the crest seems to be a little bit bent but i can easily fix that that's not going to be too big of a deal it's not like there's any creases in the crest that's when it starts to get a little bit annoying it just needs to be flattened out a little bit and then it'll be completely fine but yeah i really do like this one a lot i mean even online i really did like this jersey but in person i think it looks fantastic once again i obviously love this logo it's colorized slightly differently than on that reverse retro 1.0 but it still has that chain stitching and everything like that inside of the logo so that looks great of course uh, the colors are just phenomenal on here inside the back of the collar it just has honor the past there and as you can see it is a size 46 so obviously this one is a little bit of a bigger size than that reverse retro 1.0 which is you know maybe why the crest is a little bit bigger on this jersey it looks a little bit nicer and as you guys can see it does have a captain's patch so it is customized and on the back it is Blake Wheeler now once again I'm not really that big of a Blake Wheeler fan but this was also on sale also for like $44 or whatever it was you know it was something like that I don't remember the exact price but both of them were like within 40 to 50 bucks so I was like honestly I'll take both of them like why not they are pretty decent like I, I like both jerseys and this one does actually have the proper well not the proper customization I don't know if it is the proper customization I guess I can quickly double check but it does actually have like the stack twill like it's nice twill numbers it's not the vinyl one layer crap numbers so that is nice like at least it has pretty good customization let me double check what the proper on ice customization would be for this jersey all right I just quickly looked and at least as far as I can tell stacked would be the proper on ice customization so it would be fairly close to what this is right here obviously not the exact same factory is going to be a lot different than the on ice but still I'm pretty happy with this all things considered you know even though I don't love Blake Wheeler as a player you know not that I despise him or anything like that I just don't really particularly care about him to be completely honest this is a very nice jersey so very happy to get it once again kind of like that Winnipeg Jets jersey there I don't really care too much about both players on these jerseys here but yeah they're both very very nice looking jerseys and that's kind of why I got them also, at the same time, I guess it is nice to have some players on the back of a couple of jerseys, even though Blake Wheeler, obviously, no longer with the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, Shifley is, so... You know, at least that's kind of nice. At least one of the players is still there. All right, I'm not quite too sure where I'm going to fit this into the video, so I apologize if this was a harsh cut, but I just finished recording, and I was taking a look at both of these jerseys, and I was, like, kind of surprised at how big the logo difference is. So, obviously, if you guys take a look here, of course, the Reverse Retro 1.0, like I mentioned, was the size 42, and this alternate jersey, or heritage jersey, whatever you want to call it, is the size 46. So, the logo difference is pretty huge. Like, I feel like this is almost double the size as the Reverse Reverse Retro 1.0 jersey. It's pretty crazy. Like, if I put it right in front of each other, like, it's it's quite noticeable. Like, it's very, very noticeable. Now, of course, that being said, if you put this logo, like, this size of a logo on the size 42, I don't think it would look very good. I think it would be way too big. Obviously, the size 42s, like, I think do need that smaller logo, but I just thought it was very, very interesting noticing how big the difference actually was, and I kind of wanted to show you guys. So, yeah, anyways, like I said, I don't know where I'm putting this into the video, so if this, this might be the end of the video or it might be you know still a little bit anyways let's get back to it so yeah just a quick Jets mail day for you guys so let me know what you think about these jerseys in the comments down below and like I said I apologize for how many unboxings that I've done recently I do have more actual other videos on the way here I got a couple kind of brewing and I hope I can release them soon and like I said that one on Halloween I, I think it's gonna be a little fun like I don't think it's gonna be crazy or anything like that you know don't expect you know something insane but I don't know I just kind of think I'll have a little bit of a fun time recording that video so anyways that's gonna do it for me thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and follow me on all of my social medias links are down below but like i said that's it for me thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time